Have you ever tried to run Kali Linux on this little board? Not yet? Then watch this video. Hey what is going on guys? My name is Parvinder from PNP Tutorials and you're watching the PNP Tutorials channel. In this video we will try to run Kali Linux Pest OS which supports the monitor mode and packet injection on Raspberry Pi Zero. It means we can hack Wi-Fi and also run Wi-Fi jammer using this board. But first let me talk about Raspberry Pi Zero W. I know I am very late to do this review but trust me we are going to do so many interesting things with this board. So let's check this out. Raspberry Pi comes with ARM 11 CPU running at 1 GHz processor. It has 512 MB RAM with onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are based on the same chipset as of the Raspberry Pi 3. Rest you get one mini SDMI port, one power port and one micro USB port. It also has 40 GPIO pins which are unpopulated. It has one micro SD card slot for storage and finally it takes 5 volt AC power supply but also survives on 3.7 volt as well. So let's try to run Kali Linux on it. We are going to download the past OS from this particular link and here we have the Kali Linux 0.1 for RPI 0W. So let's click on it and download it. After download extract it with the 7-zip, if you don't have the 7-zip then download from the internet and I will also leave a link in the description area from where you can download the 7-zip. Once file has been extracted, now flash this file onto the SD card. Here I am using 16GB Samsung SD card and for flashing this file to my SD card reader I will make the use of Win32 Disk Major and I will also leave a link in the description area from where you can download this. Browse your file and here we have our file, simply open it. Now it will take some time to flash this file into our SD card. As you can see guys, Kali Linux has been flashed on to our 16GB SD card. Now what I will do is, I will simply take out my SD card from my card reader and then I will insert that SD card into my Raspberry Pi Zero. Now I will connect the micro USB to Ethernet. I have connected the micro USB to Ethernet port into the micro USB port of Raspberry Pi 0W. Now I will connect the LAN cable which is coming out from my router. Now I will give the power to my Raspberry Pi 0. As you can see guys green LED is blinking. It means operating system is booting. Now the Kali Linux image which we have installed does not have any GUI desktop environment. So what I will do is I will do the SSH into my Raspberry Pi 0W from my computer. Then we will try to install the desktop environment into this Kali Linux image. Let me find the IP address of my Raspberry Pi 0W from my router settings. As you can see guys IP address is 192.168.0.109. Now use your favorite SSH client to SSH into your Raspberry Pi Zero. Alright, hit enter. As you can see guys, we have got some sort of warning. Simply press on yes. Now log in by using the username as root and password is TWRTOR. And there we go. Now what I will do is, I will simply update the repository of this Kali Linux version. Alright guys, so now the repositories has been updated. Now I will simply install XFCE desktop environment into my Raspberry Pi Zero. For that I will simply copy these commands. These commands are given in the description area. As you can see guys it needs to get 105 MB of data. So simply press Y to go ahead. Now it will take some time to install the XFCE desktop environment into your Raspberry Pi Zero. Alright guys, so now we have installed the XFCE desktop environment into our Raspberry Pi. Now what I will do is, I will boot my Raspberry Pi 0W onto my monitor. As you know that Raspberry Pi 0 comes with mini HDMI port. So I will use this mini HDMI to full HDMI converter. Now I will insert the HDMI cable. Now I will give the power to my Raspberry Pi 0 and we will notice the very first boot of Kali Linux onto our monitor. As you can see guys, Kali Linux is booting up for the first time and I hope we will be able to see the GUI as well. So let me just remove my micro USB to Ethernet adapter and instead of that I will plug the wireless keyboard and mouse receiver. The username is root and the password is TWRTOR. Click on use default configuration. 
and there we go guys we have Kali Linux right in front of us so before installing the Kali Linux I have told you that this version of Kali Linux is patched so we will be able to enable the monitor mode as well so let's try to enable the monitor mode on our Raspberry Pi 0 Wi-Fi chipset open up terminal guys I have to say that this version of Kali Linux is little bit lagging but I cannot complain about it because I have bought the Raspberry Pi 0 W4 just $10 and on that $10 board I am able to run the Kali Linux and I will also be able to hack the Wi-Fi so for enabling the monitor mode type in here mon start now what I will do is I will try to run the air dump with WN0 interface it is not showing any data so what I will do is I will simply press the control C and then again I will type in here mon start let's try again air dump ng wn0 and there we go guys this time we are able to get the data into our air dump ng screen it means monitor mode has been enabled I can recheck it with iwconfig command and you can see guys mode is monitor now let me show you the rest of the things click on applications here we have accessories graphics multimedia office system Aircrack NG is pre-installed in this build that's why you can hack the Wi-Fi and all stuff if you want to install the Metasploit framework into it then you can also install it and if you don't have the HDMI monitor then what you can do is after doing the SSH into your Raspberry Pi you can install the Vino VNC server into it then you can get the VNC session of your Raspberry Pi 0W onto your laptop or maybe onto your PC as well so this is it for the video I hope you guys like this video because all in all what we are doing here is we are running the Kali Linux on $10 Raspberry Pi 0W which not only runs the Kali Linux but also supports the monitor mode so we can do the Wi-Fi hacking and all stuff as well. In the upcoming video I will tell you that how you can make the Wi-Fi jammer using Raspberry Pi 0W and I will also tell you that how you can convert your Raspberry Pi 0W into a portable USB stick to run the Kali Linux onto your Android mobile phone. So these two upcoming videos are going to be very crucial and you will definitely gonna like them. So what do you think about this video let me know in the comment section and if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.